Hello everyone. The book we're going to be talking about today has a lot of things going for it. If you're a fan of urban fantasy, if you're a fan of uh, classic old school monsters, and even a talking bird, you are going to love this book. It certainly wasn't not what I was expecting, and uh, it, it was far better than what I thought. We're going to be talking about all that in a minute. <clears throat> but first, I want to let you know that my book of short horror stories, it's called The Things That Happen at Night. It is available at the link below in the description. It's only $3. $3. So I hope you pick it up and I hope you enjoy it. Now let's get on with the video. All right. So the book we're going to be talking about today is a good one. It's called Alaric Monster Hunter by Fred Weehy, I believe is how you pronounce his name. Uh, but this is a fantastic book that uh, has a lot of elements to it, especially if you like fantasy, and especially if you like urban fantasy, and especially if you like the urban fantasy mixed with a lot of horror. Uh, or hor horror elements, I should say. You are going to love this book. Uh, and this concerns a 200-year-old vampire, our protagonist, named Alaric, or Alaric, Alaric, however you pronounce it anyway. It can't be denied that he is kind of a badass. He is a gun for hire. Uh, he collects bounties for monsters that are roaming the land. Now, this book is set in a kind of modern-day San Francisco, uh, but it involves all the elements beneath the, the, the sheen of the city and the, and the modern-day amenities of the city. Underneath are creatures lurking and things that go bump in the night that need to be taken care of, and he's the man you want. Uh, for the job. He's a swashbuckling type of hero, but he's also kind of an anti-hero because he is conflicted in a lot of areas. Uh, his, his, uh, uh, he doesn't have many friends because of who he is. Of course, he's a vampire and because uh, of his occupation, not too many people he can trust. And uh, his love interests range from a woman he was supposed to marry a long time ago when he turned into a vampire. You're going to read about that and what happened with that. And a human woman who is, a, who, who is in the gypsy community. As a matter of fact, most of this book, book is about those in the gypsy community. And the author does a great job uh, detailing and describing that community and all their, uh, even using some of their language that they use. And yes, he will interpret what that means, but also uh, their rituals, their customs, and uh, everything like that. But he's torn between this human woman and the woman he was supposed to marry, the love of his life, he feels, who is now a vampire because of something that happened on their wedding day that he can't quite explain. explain. Uh, but there's a lot of elements that are after him, a lot of things uh, that are piling up on him. It seems like one thing after another after another is coming to destroy him uh, and everybody wants his head, including uh, a self-proclaimed king of the gypsies who demands obedience, demands uh, servitude uh, from that community to him, even though he's a very uh, evil, very twisted man who doesn't really have uh, the people's best interests at heart. Let's put it that way. Uh, there are monsters that abound in this world. And, uh, and this is really where the book gets its more gory, uh, blood-soaked uh, horror elements. Because these are the old school monsters that we all grew up with. And if you're like me, we were all scared of when we were little kids reading about them or seeing them. Uh, we're talking werewolves, vampires, uh, zombies, ghouls, and other creatures that kind of uh, vacillate between uh, different categories that, that can't really be described. And throughout this book, there are these uh, fantastic scenes of carnage and blood as he is faced with all of these creatures at some point or another, sometimes multiple, uh, multiple creatures in different forms at some times. Luckily, he is very adept at what he does. He uses things at his disposal, including guns, including knives and daggers and swords. Whatever he has to dispatch uh, the creatures that are threatening to overtake the city. But he doesn't do it 
He does it for the money. He doesn't do it out of the kindness of his heart, although he will go out of his way to protect, protect his gypsy family, uh, those in that community that, that he calls his, his family. Uh, and he makes a great hero, or maybe even an anti-hero. And that's what you want in a fantasy book, right? You want this larger-than-life protagonist uh, to have all these odds coming against him and watch him slice and dice and overcome those odds in any way he can. And, of course, there's the romantic element because of his feelings between uh, the two loves of his life, one of which is, well, she's a vampire and she's not too happy that he has eyes on this other woman. You're going to have to read about how them two sorted out. Ooh, talking about a woman's wrath. <laughs> Wait until you read about that. But uh, the other woman, the human woman, she's a gypsy, but she's also a con artist. And they're very upfront about that. And she's looking for a big score from a client uh, who believes in her psychic abilities, even though they're not real. And uh, something happens during the course of that interaction that's also uh, 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 hair-raising. Uh, very, very terrifying. Uh, but this whole book is filled with everything you could want in an urban fantasy. Uh, tons and tons of monsters, lots of blood and gore, big over-the-top action sequences. You got romance, you got a, a love interest, and you have Odin. Odin is a talking raven that is the pet of Alaric. And uh, <laughs> I love Odin. He provides some good comic relief in between all the brutality and all the action that's taking place. And I really appreciated uh, uh, that touch. I, I do have to say, uh, you're going to have to wait to see the ending. Uh, I don't want to give too much away. I don't want to give any spoilers. I think this is something you have to read. I personally am not too much into fantasy or science fiction. But with the horror elements attached to books like this and also other science fiction books, like Dead Silence was a science fiction book that had these really terrifying elements yeah it was a very scary book and i always appreciate when an author can combine these different genres and uh still keep it accessible to people who prefer one or the other if that makes sense like i prefer more straight straight up horror and he provides enough of that in here to keep me satisfied uh but for lovers of fantasy for lovers of urban fantasy uh and you like that conflict, the emotional conflict uh, that uh, relationships can bring. And, uh, you know, he's in love with two different women and that kind of thing. Uh, there's some of that in there for you as well. Really, there's something in here to like for anybody who's into any of those things I just mentioned. Old school monsters, you got to love it. You're into zombies, pick this up. Werewolves, vampires. It's got it all, I'm telling you. And the author does a great job in balancing all of these elements and weaving them into the story so it's one coherent uh, a narrative throughout. He doesn't stray too far from the main plot of the story, which is, of course, our protagonist. And uh, he does a fantastic job at knowing when to pull in the reins a little bit and let us get inside the heads of these characters and when to just let loose with all the blood and gore and chopping and slicing and dicing that we all yeah, got to appreciate in books like this, right? At least I do anyway. So yeah, uh, if you're into any of that, you definitely have to pick up this book, Alaric Monster Hunter. And I will leave a link down below to Amazon if you want to purchase it from there. Also, there's a link down below to my book of short horror stories, The Things That Happen at Night, if you want to purchase that as well. My Instagram and Twitter are down below. Come join me on there for more creepy stuff. And as always, thank you for taking some of your time and spending it here with me. I really appreciate you guys watching. And until we meet again, keep reading spooky, my friends.